The challenges which affect school learners from achieving their full potential is being closely monitored with a view to strengthening systems within the local education sector that will allow students to achieve at their very best. The program, which follows extensive research, according to project lead Angel Caglin, will help improve educational outcomes for both boys and girls, support teachers in applying inclusive educational practices to meet the needs of diverse learners, and compile and share resources, as well as best practices created by teachers across the educational systems of the sub-region. The initiative is being supported by the International Development Research Center, IDRC, the Caribbean Innovation and Leadership Lab, Laurier University, and Raise Your Voice St. Lucia. It means that we have to bring those factors to the fore, understand what those factors are, what the assumptions underlying those factors are, and we need to explore ways that we can minimize the, the negative factors and amplify the positive factors. So in building on this innovation work, which started in, in 2023, the full potential program is really aiming to harness the power and potential of teacher-led innovation to address issues of equity and inclusion for boys and girls in our education system. It is the goal of the program to promote educational methods that ensure all students, regardless of gender, have access to safe and supportive learning environments. Parliamentary Secretary in the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, Senator Honorable Dr. Pauline Antoine Prosper, says this adds value to the educational environment away from the traditional and comfortable but outdated ways of doing things. I trust that this training touches the effective domain to trigger the change in mindset. With all our societal issues, I am happy that strengthening boys' education and students with disabilities are part of the full potential program, as well as gender-inclusive education that fosters empathy, collaboration, and leadership. Acting Deputy Chief Education Officer Cyrus Sipal says together, school administrators, teachers, and educational officials can take advantage of this project to build a classroom environment where girls and boys can succeed by investigating and advocating for gender-neutral policies, programs, and practices. By the time we had a success of that program, and then the way it is working, and then we are seeing based on the data, on the stats, that there is improvement in the students, both boys and girls, and we can show the correlation between the modalities that are being used with the students, and hear what I'm saying, not just boys, but with the students, and we are going to ensure that the pedagogical move that we make will be aligned with the students' interests. And at the end, Madam Chief will be happy, Palsec will be happy, Minister will be happy, I will be happy, all of us will be happy because St. Lucia will rise and we will achieve what we want to achieve. By gaining a deeper comprehension of inclusive practices and gender norms, stakeholders in the education system may collaborate on the development of policies and learning aids that actively involve both boys and girls maximizing their academic potential. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporter.